What is going on, fellow gas landers? It's your boy, Fo, and I'm coming at you with another video. This time, it's a video I wanted to do something fun, a challenge that JH Miniatures came up with on his YouTube channel. By the way, if you haven't checked out his channel, you probably have. If you're coming across my videos, you've definitely seen some of his. His videos are fantastic, basically setting the bar for anything gas lands. So if you haven't seen it yet, maybe you're brand new to the hobby, you jumped on Facebook, you came across my video first, go down in the description, click on JH Miniatures, and check out that guy's videos. Everything on there is fantastic. But anyway, he set up a challenge, make up a car for what it costs for a single pot of paint. Here in the US, a pot of paint, it's $4.25. So I made this build, with $4.25 of materials, and that includes everything. That includes the paints, that includes um, all the plastic card, everything. Now, you are allowed to use scraps that, um, that might be considered trash, so that's pretty cool. And by trash, we don't mean little bits of this, like, leftover plastic card, because you know this isn't trash. This is gold, baby. You're not getting rid of this. This is, you're never gonna take this and throw it in the garbage. You're gonna put this right back in your toolbox and you're gonna save it for later. But anyway, check out the video. I show you how this thing was built and I'll see you guys in a bit. We got the variety store. Let's see what we got. We got cars. We got cars galore. We're gonna head over to like the hobby section where they got like the arts and crafts and all that good stuff. Boom, I came right to the paints. Had to come right to the paint section. Now, I don't like what I'm saying because we got these paints right here. It's a lot of colors here. And it comes with a very, very, very crummy brush. But that's 325, man. That leaves my budget with like almost nothing to spend. The only other paints we got for like $1.50 or something are like these Rose Art like washable watercolors. It's not gonna do, man. It's not gonna do. I almost wanna get the watercolors because maybe the brown I could do some rust effects with, but I have a feeling it's not gonna go over too well. I wish they had a more basic set of this. Like, I don't need this much. But if they just had one row of the basic primary colors, that would be fantastic. But for 325, that's gonna cut too far into my budget. See. Going more into like the tool area, we got these zip ties. These can be alright, these things. Like kind of like hooks. I don't know man. I'm not feeling too too uh too good about the variety stuff. I thought this one's gonna be a little bit better, but we'll see. Alright, I'm gonna scound around a little bit more, see what I can find. Alright, this place is a little bit cramped up in here, but I found these bad boys right here. Now, dollar ten, right up my alley. But I'm looking at these things and they are just looking terrible. Like these paints are not looking good. Look, it's sideways and it's like stood up straight. So they're probably dried solid for the most part. Look at that. I'm probably gonna do more harm than good with these things. So another another paint bundle out of the question. I'm not touching a model with these things. I won't even put a, a shitty paintbrush in, into these paints. All right, let me see if I could dig up anything else in here. So after a day of scavenging, the uh, variety stores near me, the 99 cent stores near me, it came out I didn't have as much luck as Jane H. Minches did. Um, I couldn't find paint, so I didn't know what to do. And there were things I had in my head that I wanted to do, and everything I was thinking about, I needed like at least black paint or some kind of paint to tie everything together. So what I did was, since I couldn't find any paint, and to keep this build super dirt cheap, it's still a very cheap build, um, I switched out my tools. So instead of using one of my many tools from the tool area or whatever, 
I instead, I bought a very cheapo X-Acto knife from the variety store. I think the name of it is like Excel or something like that. And this knife was about $2, like $2 and change. And I hope it holds up because I've bought X-Acto knife in the past where I go to make the first cut and the blade snaps. Hopefully this does not do that. It feels sharp, but the blade does feel a little flimsy, so I have to be careful. You feel it has like no weight to it. It has like no heft at all. But you know what? It's gonna serve its purpose for this build. So this was $2, and then I got myself the car for a dollar. I decided I'm not gonna go anything fancy. I went with this old school Explorer truck. I actually pretty pumped on working on this thing. I've been wanting to do one of these type of pickups you would find on a farm or something and I have some ideas to make it look pretty good. So I got that right there. So that's going to be my car. So that was a dollar. And then I bought the 99 cents, you know, brand super glue. Now I live in an Asian neighborhood so a lot of like the unnamed brand stuff is like the uh, Asian knockoff type stuff. So this is, I don't know what it's called, it's like Fo Shen Non Super Glue. Okay, so that's what we're working with for Super Glue. Never used it before, but it was 75 cents. It was under a dollar. It actually came on a blister and they had to like rip it off. There was like a whole row of them. And then that's all I spent. So in total, cash money so far, I spent a dollar for this, two dollars for that, so it's, that's three dollars, and then 75 cents. So for 375, I'm gonna work on this bill. That's all the cash I spent. Now, for the trash part, for just the things you find around the house for trash that you can incorporate into the build, this is what I got. I got this T-Mobile um, SIM card. There was a SIM card here, and it's plastic. It's basically the same materials used in plastic card. It feels like plastic card, so I basically have a piece of plastic card that I got from this T-Mobile SIM card that was gonna be thrown away. So that's that. Then there was a glow stick that no longer is glowing anymore. That was about to be trashed. Now I'm not gonna cut the glow stick because I don't want any like the uh, inside juice to come out. Who knows what's in that stuff? It was glowing, not glowing, it's toxic, not, I don't even know. I don't know, I don't wanna know, I'm not cutting it. But they had these little plastic ends, these like hard plastic ends. So I'm gonna take those off, get rid of that, and I'm gonna work with these things, see what I could do with those. Then I got a couple of toothpicks that I had lying around. I could use these to make spikes and stuff like that. And I got this um, lollipop, which I'm gonna be eating this lollipop while I'm working on the build, but then I got the stick at the end. So we're gonna throw that stick, maybe we can use it as a gun turret, who knows what we can use it for, but we're gonna see. And then I had, we had bought some, this was marbles, this was a bag of marbles, and this was like the netting that held them. So maybe I could put some of this on the plastic card to make uh, plating, diamond plating. Maybe I could stretch this across the windows to make like the gate mesh in a window. We'll see. I don't know if I'm gonna use this yet, but it's definitely an option and it costs me nothing. So there you go, total of three bucks. There's all the materials. I'm gonna open this stuff up and I'm gonna get things ready and I get back to you. All right, so I got everything open and let's get to work. What I'm gonna do is, here are my plans. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna put a I'm gonna put a set of rockets on the top of this truck. So when I'm done with the lollipop, I'm eating that thing right now. I'm not sucking on it now, I had to take it out of my mouth. So this way you can hear me talk. But once I'm done with that, I'm gonna use the lollipop stick, I'm gonna cut it up, and I'm gonna make that I'm gonna make rockets and I'm gonna use these toothpick tips and I'm gonna glue them to the ends of the light pop stick segments to make them look like there's rockets coming out of tubes. Then I think I'm gonna cut these up into smaller, thin circles. Now I'm gonna put the lollipop sticks inside of that to make it look like that's like the, um, the brackets that are holding the rockets in place. So we're gonna do that with that. And we're gonna cut up the plastic card. I'm gonna put some 
some armor on the windows, maybe a little bit of armor on the front a little bit. And I'm thinking about making a ram. I'm gonna make a ram with the front of this too. A cow catcher, something to that aspect. Now, I don't know what I'm gonna do with the trunk. It's like, I feel bad leaving all the space back here. It's like, you know, you have the truck, there would be something going on with this thing. But I'm thinking maybe when I'm playing the game, I could pay for extra crew and there could be extra crew members back there and whatnot. So that's not that big of a deal. So I'm gonna go with the rockets and I'm gonna put the armor on. But I'm also thinking about making a little coach on the back, making like a little closed off house thing to make this thing look kind of crazy using the plastic card from this T-Mobile. Now, I forgot to mention the tools that I was using. Since I bought the X-Acto knife, and I bought everything else, so I'm up to like $3 so far. Three, oh, see, so this was $2, $1, about $3 plus all the random stuff I found that was gonna be trash anyway. Um, now, since I couldn't find paint, and if you, if you go back in the video, I was trying. So I'm just gonna take as my two tools, and I counted these as one tool a piece to use that came from outside the budget. It's gonna be black and it's gonna be silver. Now, what this is also gonna show you, and if there are people getting into the hobby and you wanna show, show them that it's cheap, you could get away with maybe three or four basic colors. Right now, I'm gonna show you how this build could look great by just using these two colors right here. So those are gonna be my tools. I got some Iron Breaker Silver, and I have Pure Black. So those are gonna be the only colors I made, and that's only because I'm using plastic card, and I wanna be able to tie it all to, all together in one. So I'm gonna cut this up, I'm gonna use this to paint all my metal armor pieces, make a wash out of the black, and also weather it with just the black alone. And those are gonna be some techniques you could use, on, and this is still on a very small budget, which is pretty cool. So I'm gonna get back to you. I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna take my X-Acto knife and I'm gonna go crazy on this truck a little bit. I'm gonna mar it up, I'm gonna scuff it up. I'm gonna be making it look like it was ready, for, it's been in the gas lands for quite some time. So I'm gonna hit this off, and then I'm gonna get back to you when I have it all damaged up. I have the uh, stick cut up, and I'll show you where I'm at. All right, see in a few. All right, so what I'm gonna do is with this X-Acto knife is, I'm just gonna go to town on this truck. I'm gonna mar up the paint, I'm gonna scuff it up, I'm gonna make it look crazy. So I wanna pay attention to the edges. You know, we all know how to weather stuff. I think if we're watching this, there's plenty of videos on how to do weathering, but I just thought I'd pop on the camera for a few just to show you what I'm doing for this build by just using the X-Acto knife. So I'm hitting off the edges where I think there would be the most damage and stuff like that. Not really caring, I'm just going random. See, there's this random marking up, so. Hitting off the sides. Then I'm gonna gouge in with this and the gouge in. Being careful, because this blade, I'm not too uh, secure on what this blade's gonna do. So I'm gonna continue gouging here. I need to scuff that up. Man, when I was a young kid, I would've been like, what is he doing to that car? But now, we have gas lanes. This is normal practice. I used to like to keep my cars all nice and pristine, but now, I'm looking to mar them up as much as possible and get them to looking well and wicked. All right, so I'll hit, get back to you guys in a little bit when this is all done. I got some stuff glued to it. All right guys, so what I got going right now is I, I, I took this Team Hobo plastic card and I went to town on this thing. And what I did was I made some covering for the windows, armor for the windows. And I made this crazy, this crazy uh, back piece where um, I kind of want to do this like a real like redneck type feel to it. And I want it to look very ramshackled and just built together and you know so what basically what the back is purpose for just guys just pile up in the back with some AK shotguns whatever and they shoot out the sides and the back so that's what that whole deal is and I thought it looked pretty cool I love this like ramshackle look to it it looks totally out there out of left field and that's what I like about it so I cut up the card and that's what I did with that and what I'm doing right now is 
I got the tubes set with the toothpicks on it. So I got the lollipop stick with the toothpick ends in there to make it look like rocket launches. And I'm gonna stick that onto the top of the truck. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a line of this super glue. By the way, once I'm done with this build, this super glue is going in the garbage. I forgot how much I hate this stuff. And it smells bad. And like I put it down, it leaks, it's sticking to everything and I'm peeling it up. I forgot how annoying it is to use the old school super glue in that like foil toothpaste tube. It's terrible. It is the worst. I got all on my hands, it just gets everywhere. It, it goes all over the place. I had to put in this little wood piece to like catch the drippings. So I got the glue across there. I'm just gonna put these right across the top. And what I'm gonna do is, once these are across the top, I'm make sure they're straight. I'm probably gonna put a piece of plastic card going on top of them to make it look like they're like bolted in like a piece of, piece of like wrought iron. One, two, got three. Now the magic number I find when I do rocket launches is four because you normally get four ammo, right? I gotta check that. I'm not sure if this one came up a little bit. So I'm gonna fix that. This glue is really not the best glue. You gotta like really wait for it to set. So I got three. Put the fourth one in there. It's a little uneven, so I gotta just get in there and gotta fix it. This is have been you know, it's eye-opening. You know, you forget how spoiled you get when you have all the cool tools and you forgot what it was like to start at the beginning when you had nothing. This kind of reminded you, you know, how it was when you just kind of piecing things together. But what's great about this game is that you can do this, you know, and it looks fine. That's the fantastic part about this game, is that you can have fun, you can, can do stuff like this. And I've been having a good time with it. Like, this has been a blast doing this. I think that looks pretty mean too. So what I'm gonna do is I have that set. Make sure those are like, it's bugging me because they're kind of like uneven in this glue. It's like, it wants to dry when it wants to. And then when you don't want it to dry right away, it dries. I got stuff sticking to my hand, it's crazy. So I got this build, like I hate this glue. I don't know how much to say. So. What I'm going to wind up doing is I'm just going to wind up pushing them all together. I'm going to center it more. So the way I was doing it, you really can't get a good even center. So I'm going to roll these in. And get those on top. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of, these, some of this, I'm going to put it on top to kind of make it look like they're in there pretty good. Now, I'm not going to sit there and have you guys watch me struggle with this for the next five minutes. But... Doing that, got this on there. I'm gonna wind up gluing this on top to make it look like they're all tied together with this piece of wrought iron. And then when that's all wrapped up, I'm gonna get back to you guys with a little bit of a paint job. This is the ram I got going so far. This is gonna go right on the front, like so. I'm gonna prop it up probably with some toothpick sticks. And I might add a few more spikes coming out the bottom. So I'll get back to you guys in a little bit. Here you have it, here's Bertha. She's not totally finished yet. She just needs to be painted. I'm happy with the way it came out. I'm happy of the build so far. So far we got a wicked ram on the front. Everything looks very ramshackle, which is what I was going for. You got the top now, these could be rockets, these could just be spikes, they could be whatever you want them to be. So that's not, they're, they're kind of, tied down with some support beams. You got this little ramshackle hut on the back. So you just picture a bunch of dudes, bunch of redneck type dudes just piled in the back. And let me tell you something, I'm not saying redneck as an insult to anybody, but we all know what you're talking. We're just talking about a bunch of dudes, just yeehaw and hollering, just wild, wild dudes all crammed into this back of this van or truck. 
I should say, and they're just going out for the day for gas lands, I guess. I don't know. I'm bugging out right now. I think I think I sniffed a little bit too much of that crazy shiny super glue. So this thing's going right in the trash. I'm done. I'm happy I'm done with this process, the whole gluing process. But I will tell you, I had a blast. It was a lot of fun. When this thing's painted, I'll give you guys a better look at it. But I went in there and I scuffed up the sides with the knife. So I'm just going to keep the red paint. The red paint is going to be me. I'm going to go in with a ink wash. I'm going to try and weather this up. I'm going to paint all the other stuff black. Then I'm going to hit it with a coat of the metal. Make it look metal. Wash that down with some washes of black. Make it look weathered and old. And I'm going to call it a day on this thing. But for about $4.00 and barely using anything. This most of this stuff is just some from like scratch. I picked up the car was, you know, I picked up the car and everything else on this thing was basically just stuff that I found around the house. The 99 cent store and the variety store wasn't kind to me, it wasn't as kind to me. So I had to come up with other ways to make this build work. And so far I'm digging it, I'm having a blast doing it. And I'll get back to you guys when I start to throw some paint down on this but I want all this glue, I want it to dry. So I'm gonna give it like an hour or two to let it really dry. All right, talk to you guys in a little. What is up, everyone? I'm sorry to say, we hit a little snafu with the video. Now, this happened to me before when doing podcasts. And I've had, you know, we've hooked up with friends, do a podcast, record the whole entire night. And you get a technical glitch and you sometimes lose the whole entire show. It just stinks when you do it with video because it's not like I go back and take off all the paint. I had a whole recording done where I was painting the model. I had a nice overhead view and I had a lot of good footage of the whole painting process. And it really stinks that I lost that footage. There was a corruption in the file, whatever happened, I lost the file. Maybe I accidentally deleted it. I don't know. When I went to go back to play it back to watch it, I couldn't find it. I couldn't get to it. I looked all over my memory card. It's nowhere to be found. So I lost that footage. But what I will tell you is she's done. Bertha. She's ready to rip up the tracks at a gas lands event near you. And I had a good time doing it. What I did was I went in. I took some black paint. I painted all of the plastic card, all of the bits that I had tacked onto this thing. And I, I painted it with some silver paint. Now, I didn't go hardcore and lay like a thick coat. I did a heavy dry brush. And I did multiple layers of a heavy dry brush to give it maybe like this weathered look to it. And then I took the black paint, I, I thinned it down super watery, and I used it as a wash to give it a more weathered effect. And to add a little bit of texture to the paint job, because it was looking a little flat, I took a sponge and I took some black paint, I put on my palette, I dunked my sponge in the paint and I started stippling some black to make it look like maybe it looks like uh, blast marks or weathering in the paint job. I think it came out good. I took the sponge and I did, I dabbed over here, I dabbed across the hood, I dabbed across the roof. On this side, let me see if you can see it. You know, it just gives it more texture. You know, it, you know, only using the two colors, the whole paint job felt a little flat, but using the sponge method, I was able to give it some texture. It looks greasy, it looks, it looks good to go. And I'm very happy with the way it turned out for only spending under $4.25. So I think it came out great. You know, I spent about maybe in total $3.75, $3.95 around there. Since I couldn't find the paints or anything, um, I just basically picked up the car, I picked up the X-Acto knife and the little bit of super glue, and then everything else I just had to scrap in. You know, the uh, black paint and the silver paint, those are my two, my two tools that I chose to use. And I was able to get this car together for under $4.25. But what that also did, it also, you know, shows people that with a very limited palette, you know, with a couple of paint colors, you can make a lot of things happen. 
Um, you don't have to own a whole crazy range of paints to get into the hobby. You know, you could pick up a handful of colors. I mean, look at all I did with just two colors. I had just black and silver, and then I used the existing paint job that was on the car, and I think it came out great. Like, if you put this on a track, it's gonna look fantastic. It's gonna look really fun to play with the game, and that's all you need. If you really wanna, you know, get friends into the game, just introduce them to the basics. You know, give them black, red, blue, green, yellow, primary colors, and you'll be set. But besides that, this was a blast. JH Miniatures came up with a great challenge. Before I go, please, go to my description. I know since you're looking at guests and videos, you probably came across his videos a whole bunch of times, but JH Miniatures puts out some really top notch stuff. I mentioned it in the beginning of my video, and I'm mentioning it now. Jump in the description if you've never been to his channel, click on the link, you'll have a blast. Anyway, I'm gonna sign off. This was a lot of fun. Um, stay tuned, I'm gonna show a more, you know, I might get a more focused view of the model on the rotating plate. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.